Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to WD06A. And what we're going to do with this exercise is do a makeover of a committee report, which has a lot of, not really errors, but a lot of formatting mistakes and kind of bad habits in it, which we're going to fix and make it look a lot more professional. Just to take a look at some of the things here that we're going to be addressing. The title, there's a big gap in the title. It's in kind of a big, bold font with a shadow on. It's kind of separated, doesn't look very unified for title. We have indents up here when, where there really shouldn't be indents on this kind of document. It's not a short story. We don't need first line indents. Bullet lists are messed up where there's, you know, should be line breaks. It looks like they actually just put spaces in here to try and line things up, which we're going to fix that. So we're going to make our bullet list look better. We're going to get rid of all these extra returns that are in here. We're going to get rid of all these tabs. There's no reason to be tabbing over 15 times just to put a page number. Matter of fact, page number should be in the footer anyway. And we're going to put a header on this too. We're going to fix the formatting here and make this look nice instead of using underlines and caps and, and all that. It just doesn't look organized. It's not easy to follow. And some of these bullet lists here just have dashes that are thrown in there and they don't really stand out as bullet lists. So we're going to fix all this during our makeover. We're going to get rid of all the extra returns, all the extra tabs, all the extra spaces and try to fix all this. And it's not as bad as you think because we're going to use styles to help format some of this stuff. So we are going to have to fix up some of the extras that are in here and delete some of this, but we're going to use styles and it'll make it go pretty quick. So I'm going to try to run through this pretty quick and I'm going to start right from the beginning by just getting rid of this sans serif font for the body copy and use like a nice serif font like Cambria. So I'm going to do a control A and just change all the font to Cambria 12 point. Okay, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that title again. And I'm going to adjust that title. And I'll also make that, I think we're going to make it, according to our sheet, we're going to make it 18 point bold. So I'm going to make it 18 point. I'm going to make it bold. I think the top part's supposed to be, the top part's going to be 18 point. This next part is going to be 22 point. But what we're going to do is we're going to fix the, we're going to fix the, the uh, spacing in here. So I'm going to get rid of the tab here because there's an extra tab in there which is thrown off the centering. What I'm also going to do here is highlight both of these lines and get rid of the space before because there's a space before or a space after the default that's in here. And here's that default space after of 10. I'm going to turn that down to zero and get rid of that and put that back. And now we still need a space after this. So I'm just going to go in this paragraph here and add a space after of 12 point. So that'll create the little separation from committee report to where this starts. Okay, one other thing we could do in here, if we wanted to get rid of this drop, there's a drop shadow on, on here, which we don't really need either. And where we could change that, if we go to home and go to font and go to text effects, there's another effect, but it won't show there. This is the text effect. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to go to shadow and I'm going to go to presets and turn shadow off where it has no shadow. So I'm going to click on that first one and hit OK, OK again, because we don't need a drop shadow on that. There's no reason for that. Any directions that I have, this is now number four after doing, after doing the, the font from number two and dealing with some of the heading stuff here from number three. We're going to get rid of this first line indent. Now there's no tab in here, so what we're going to do is just, we could go up here and take this first line indent and just move it back. Remember, you could have also gone in here and turned off the first line indent. It would have been showing up here when it was here, but we can do it that way. So we don't need a first line indent. There's a rogue return in here, which I'm not sure why it's here, but we're just gonna delete it and get rid of that return. Getting to number five, in the next paragraph, there's an extra tab in here. Again, instead of a first line indent, they use this, this extra tab. So we'll get rid of, rid of that. We don't need that either. So then we move on to number six and we have this bullet list and we're going to fix this bullet list a little bit. One of the things we're going to do is get rid of it. There's a return in here. And I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of these extra spaces that are in here. And just put replace them with a space. Okay, and that lines up a little better. There's an extra space here in, in review. All right, and you could even, if you needed to break that to another line, you could do a shift return. And you could break that to another line, which I'm going to do here. I'll break that end acting students to another line. Okay, you could see when I when I put the line break in here, one thing one thing that happened is that it put this extra space. It, it, the space kind of it just looks off. There's an extra space in here, and it's not even here. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this whole bullet list and I'm going to make it single spacing. So I could do that by going through my paragraph settings and I'll, you can see there's a mix here. That's why it's showing up blank. There's a mix. And I'm going to change my line spacing to single. I'll just put it back to single and hit OK. And now it's single spacing. Now that took away all our extra space. We still do want some space in here. But except now we want these bullet list items with space between each bullet list item, not line spacing. Line spacings would actually spread out the, this extra line here. We don't want line spacing. We want space between. So what we're going to do is use our space before setting. Now be careful. In this part here, we're showing up in blue. Make sure you check it and uncheck it. Make sure it's white and unchecked because otherwise it means some of it's on, some of it isn't. And we don't want this don't add space checked because then it won't add space. And we want space. So I'll hit OK. And that's what we want to do. Now it looks pretty nice. It spreads things out. This line here where there's a line break, this is the way it should look. It shouldn't have any of this extra space in here. It should, there should be space between each bullet item. And what we're also going to do to these items here, these two bullet items here, I'm going to highlight these two bullet items. And they have a dash in here. And I'm just going to put regular round bullets. So I'm going to go up here to my bullets and go to my options and just use round bullets. I think they'll look nicer with just round bullets. The other ones have square bullets, so we're going to use round bullets. And that looks a little bit better. We could probably move it back a little if we had to. But I think I'm just going to leave it there for now. Now we also have a problem down here. Again, same thing like with the acting dean, where this stuff, I'm going to get rid of this return, and that should be lined up right there. This should be on the next line, and that's the way that should look. All right, at the bottom of this document, you can see it's just a mess down here after the bullets. And I'm going to delete this whole mess of stuff down here. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm just going to delete. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a page break. I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Page Break and move all that other stuff to the next page so that this kind of ends with the bullet list. And I'll just make sure that the bullet list looks okay, and it does. All right, so now we're going to move to page two. Now what we're going to have to do on page two, what we want to do is put a header and a footer. We want to put a header along the top, and then we're going to put a footer at the bottom for our page number since we got rid of our page number. Okay, so for the header and the footer, it doesn't matter what page you do this on. You could do this on page one or page two. It doesn't matter. We could go up here and do it. We could go back to page one and do it up here. And if it doesn't work when you double click, you could go to insert and go to header footer. Sometimes it'll work when you double click on it. And okay, I'm going to insert a header and it's a blank header. And you might see this, this kind of, you know, default placeholder here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in um, strategic planning. I typed in this strategic planning foreign committee report and I'm going to make it align right so I could just highlight it and I could go to my home tab and just use the third one over the align right and I'll make sure it's 10 point Calibri and that's 10 point Calibri and while my header is open I'm going to go down to my footer and I, remember you could do this on any page and I'm just going to click in here and you could insert a page number now you could do that you could go to your insert tab or if you go to design you'll see page number over here and I'm just going to use bottom of, the page, bottom of the page, and I'll use number three because that'll put it over on the right. And I'll just put a page number on the right. You don't have to change the font. So that we now have a header and footer, so now every page is numbered and every page has a header on it. So that looks a lot more professional than typing in the page number on every page. So what we're going to do next is we're going to kind of attack the stuff on page two here and make some styles and then apply them to the rest of the document, which won't take that long. So I'm going to take a break here after pretty much doing most of the most of the front page as well as the header and footer